You are listening to the Old School Movement Podcast with Daz, Chris and Steve. You understand. Easy. Old School Movements, we in the house. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Easy, one and all. This is the new school, Old School Movement Podcast. <laughs> you see... You see, because of the theme of this podcast, I'm already getting into the future. Um, as you know, or if you don't know, this is part two of our future 80s dreams, man. Yes, we'll, we'll be talking again about um, what we thought would exist now that we used to dream about, think about, wonder about um, when we were kids. That actually cool? Yeah, man. I'm good. I'm good. You? Yeah, man. I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. Chris? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, mate. I'm still stuck at home. We're all stuck at home. It's yeah, always getting a bit much now. It's like, ah, oh, I just want to get out. <laughs> Go back to normal. <laughs> ah, what is normal? In it, I was going to say, Question there is no is normal gone. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, Stax, how's the uh, whole of vegetarian thing going, man? Couldn't be better. Okay. It's been, what is it now? A year and four months. Yeah. I ain't looking Feel back. Good. Oh, ah, it's amazing. I ain't looking good, back. Good, 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 good. So what's your speciality now, man? I know you've been cooking up lots oh, of you know, I don't know what. Today I had a, a vegetable um, Thai red and green curry. Easy. Well, you made it, that, yeah? Easy. And, um, you, know, you know people can't hear you nodding. <laughs> <That's the> people. <laughs> <laughs> My wife's going to be what, listening later. She might, she might disagree with the fact that I made it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cool. You know what I mean? Cool. Red handed. <laughs> the evidence is there. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll go back to the, the last thing I made was. Um, yeah. What's the last thing I made? Oh, I made some boom um, cauliflower cheese fritters. Okay. They were they were pretty. So they're like you know, oh, like right. um, like salt fish like fritters. Yeah, but with cauliflower in it. Yeah, okay. Big. No, nah, co- hey, listen, seasoned up, um, Chris. Okay. Trust me. You're you can like, have it. Yeah, because you know what? Just... <laughs> I know, but yeah, you have it to. It sounds all right. That. It sounds all right. You know, I might have crispy as well. Yeah, mate. I'll, I'll, yeah. Bring, I'll bring you a batch. I'll bring yeah. you a batch. But when you said it, I imagined it being crispy. Yeah, you know, uh, you know me, mate. If it ain't crispy, it yeah. ain't worth it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but I know that's how you like your bacon back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> crispy. <laughs> Keep it Back crispy. That That's how I like me bacon. That's how I have me cauliflower cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's big. That's big. That's big. So, yeah. Future 80s dreams, ladies and gentlemen. So, like, we did touch on, like, movies and stuff, I believe, in the first one, right, guys? Hmm. Yeah? No, yeah, no, one seems, one, no one um, seems too sure. Like, yeah, it was so long ago. <laughs> I don't remember. A few weeks back. You, look, you, you're just supposed to say, yeah, like you just ruined it. Yeah, yeah, we like, touched a bit. Well, we got, we got a few movies to touch on in this one, didn't we? We did talk, we did talk about. I love about, how Chris is just smoothing, slightly we, smoothing, it, smoothing into it like nothing just happened. I remember us touching on like food in the movies because we were mentioning the pizza from Back to the Future and. Yeah, uh, yeah. It was that one. Yeah. And, so, yeah. I mean, and the trainers and. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no that's, right, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's so right. We did touch so, on them. Yeah, but all that experience, you know, we, we know all those things and and, and saw all those things and and, dre- and dreamt about the future because we went to the cinema a lot and like cinema was a was the thing when we were kids and it's like it's been the thing for years, isn't it? It's, it's... yeah, like all our childhood, it, it's mm. it's been the thing. It, even when video was about and you could still watch a movie on video, you you still wanted that. That yeah, cinema experience. One because cinema, it ain't yeah. coming out on video t- for five years. <laughs> you see it early. Um, and the experience but, of it as well. But the it just experience. Experience. the sound. Yeah. yeah. yeah the whole, back in know. them days, it, it didn't cost much. It was affordable to go. You could go weekly oh. as kids. You know, I, I don't even remember adult tickets being that expensive. You could go. Adult weekly. tickets were like a fiver. I don't yeah. think that, I think they were cheaper. Than that. I remember it being a pound yeah. for us to get in, wasn't it? It was like one pound yeah. ten, one, one ten. pound at one time. Yeah. I'm sure adults were like two eighty or two thirty yeah. or something yeah. to get in. Even yeah. at prime times on a Saturday night, mm-hmm. it, it didn't change. Whereas yeah. now, yeah. like now yeah. you're paying fifty 
quid to get your whole family in. Easy. <laughs> and you're going there to get annoyed by someone's next year munching popcorn and on their like, phone. On their phone. Like you didn't get none of them distractions in the old yeah. days. Everyone enjoyed the movie, but yeah. now yeah. I find that there's too many distractions nowadays. Yeah. Too many, like you say, phones going, man. And, and it's crazy because back in the day, like now, sorry, now you have that little advert telling you to be quiet and stuff. Mm, yeah. and back in the day, you didn't have that advert because everybody yeah. wanted to watch the film because. Yeah. Back in the day, everybody knows if you're missing anything, you ain't seen it again until it's out yeah. of video, yeah, or you have to yeah. pay for a ticket again. There's no yeah. like, oh, I'll watch it later, I'll stream you're it. You're missing the trailers. Yeah, exactly. you, you have to have that the experience and bit. there and then. You know, when you used to walk in with your hot dog and your drink and hear that go, oh, hear that, you're like, shit, get to the cheers. You're like, oh, mate, I've missed it, man. You're late. It's been right. too long in 7-Eleven. It was 7-Eleven. Yeah, oh, getting Oprah fruits and, and stuff, you know. But the whole, the whole experience, the whole, the whole build up to it and stuff, man. It's like, will that still be around? Because you know, you can stream now. Like, did we ever think, you know, did, did, did you guys ever wish? I, I wish I could just Never. like put my no. telly on and, and watch the latest Never. film and no. not have to go to cinema. Never, no. Right. Yeah. Thought, I'm gonna have a video cassette or I'm gonna. Have the cinema, them two things that they were set in life, mm -hmm. like yeah, and the thing know, carved is, in stone, they ain't gonna change. But you, you would go cinema and enjoy it, and then like, mm. yeah, I want to get that on pirate on video now, mm. so like, I can watch it when I want. But mm. you still would yeah. need that. You still at that time, you still wanted that cinema experience. You couldn't beat yeah. it because yeah. we didn't have big enough screens. You didn't have any big screens. Yeah. You didn't have no surround yeah. sound or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Dolby yeah, sound. So. Yeah. It is true. You can more or less replicate cinema at home now. Yeah, exactly. Apart from you know, apart from the the, the, the auditorium having people next to you, but the sound wise, vision wise, you can get yeah. as good as at home. So, yeah, it's true. So, it's true. And and then you look at a lot of the streaming services now; they are launching straight to TV. I know because nearly the last year now we've been in this weird world where um, people can't go out to cinemas and theaters. So films are just coming straight out, aren't they? Straight mm -hmm. to yeah. Sky, straight to Netflix. Yeah. So. No, yeah. I'm really worried about theatres and, and, and cinemas. I think they were sort of on a decline anyway, like I said, because of the prices, because the home yeah. comforts are just so much easier. They were on I think the decline. Cinema is definitely on a decline, but I don't think it's theater a shame, is. man. Theatre is still I, massive. I, ho I hope theatre is still, yeah, I hope, man. Because Th theatre is still massive on the Again, on but the there's scale kids of, now but, who don't yeah. know theatres. But don't there's go kids, to yeah. It's not Where the same is, like back in our day, like theatre was. We went, you were around it a lot, you know, yeah. school took you, it was Panto, you know, school, mine. Yeah. There we was went. all, every kid experienced a fear. And I don't mm. think kids experience that now. It's like, if you want to go fear, you got to pay big ticket, big yeah. buck ticket money yeah. to see Lion King or whatever, whatever. It's not oh, like Lion a- Lion King's mad expensive. Wait six months, just, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's and, 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 and I fear that's how cinema's going to go. And, mm. and there's going to be a generation of kids who, who, who won't have that, you know, continuous experience of going to the cinema because you know i don't know how many times i went to a cinema a year in the height of cinema in the 80s but we, we all must have went a lot you know yeah. for all types of genres of films whether it's yeah, a cartoon or or a sequel exactly. or a new film or you know it was the cinema to, you know and, mm. and and like i just don't see that happening nah. and i never thought i would see what's happening now and exactly. you know as you say, the convenience is there and there is a market for it because there are people who blatantly don't want to go to the cinema. But as we we're saying, it's an experience, man. It just, it brings the film more to life in it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, like, it's, it's you know what it's like? It? The it's like, and the quiet and, if you listen yeah. to it, if you pick your favourite album, you have yeah. the chance of listening to it on CD, crisp quality, mm. or you have the chance to listen to it on MP3. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, cinema yeah, yeah. is that crisp quality and yeah, MP3 yeah. is just being at home. It's still the same tune. You can still yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. it. Just yeah, yeah, different. yeah. It's, different. it's two different experiences though, isn't mm. it? Yeah. yeah, I don't think a new generation is going to be going, going cinema, man. It's just going to be a... I hope, I right. hope, it's been about for over 100 years, man. Like the first motion picture house, I should say, that opened in the world was in 1905 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And um, it was named after how much it was to get in and the Greek word for theatre. So it was called Nickel Odeon, a nickel to get no in. No way. But that's where sort of the word Nickel Odeon comes from. It's got nothing to do with the channel that all the kids know these days. Right. It's just, they've used the word yeah. as well. But yeah, the first yeah. one they say, Picture House for Motion Picture opened in 1905. But in the in London, in England, we had 
picture houses going back to 1896 but these mm. weren't purpose built they were just um i can imagine maybe like a, a drinking place or something that show some sort of motion picture god that was type of motion old porn but the, the first pictures that were, that were showed though they, they were french it, it could have been you know what the yeah, french are like yeah, it was yeah. um it was the, the lumiere lumiere brothers they invented this machine that, that that could that could project film so it was them that brought it over to to um some place in regent street i think uh, a polytechnic in upper regent street where they first first aired it in february 1896 and um it was only about a month later that a british inventor was also trying to invent one and he got his one ready so mm. the empire leicester square which at the time i take it was like a dance you know the dance disco place like, <laughs> yeah for the, for the you know back in the in the day <laughs> but they, they used to rent they rented the, the lumiere one for one night a week and then this british inventor he rented his one to the other big dance house that was in leicester square so that's how these two two buildings in leicester square right. sort of became popular as film houses which there's still you know empire leicester square that, yeah, you know, yeah, today yeah. and the odeon yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be that i'm thinking it's got that's got to be where they were or yeah, close yeah, to yeah. where they were yeah but see yeah, that's been real. going around before you know 1896 right? but then what what happened because we were using old buildings to show these things that the the film was highly flammable and and it would get kind of hot with the lights that projected yeah. it so these things yeah. would catch on fire and the yeah. buildings that were they were using in london they weren't purpose-built so they were getting burnt down and wow. you know, fatalities and stuff so then they invented that you remember that, that all cinemas had that iron curtain that used yeah. to come down, didn't it? The yeah. fire curtain. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I think yeah. some some theatres still have it, didn't they? They yeah. have to yeah. have this fire yeah. curtain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, so that's when they started. Oh, so that's when okay. they started actually building real purpose-built theatres and yeah. cinemas with these fire curtains and for safety. That that was wow. around 1910, so a little bit after when they say that the American one was about. Oh, so so. So the British are first, though. Is, is that what we're getting uh, to? Yeah. Know, <laughs> we invented cinema. I'd say the French, man. <laughs> the French had the machine, yeah. didn't it? Oh, yes. Yeah, the, the, so the machine. Be the French, man. Yeah. It's the Lumiere. Yeah. 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 Make, it his, <laughs> make it his sly little porno, shirt. <laughs> imagine imagine the ones, silent yeah. ones. You know, <laughs> silent <laughs> pornos. You know what I mean? Imagine that like, the first film ever made is porn. Porn <laughs> started the whole, was, the whole film industry. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's probably what started the internet. That's not what started most of it. Yeah, no. Oh, it starts everything. <laughs> wow. Wow. What, so why are they called Blue Movies then? Where you know, did back, that come from? They're back in the 80s, a Blue Movie. Didn't we just say that like, a lot? What's the, the Blue 80s, bit about it? Blue yeah, Movie. Blue Movie. You get the blueies. You get blue the blueies. Blue Movies, mate. <laughs> I thought they talk about budgies and stuff. I was like, man, I've got, my nan's got a couple of budgies. Yeah, she's got blue. <laughs> blue and yellow. That sounds, and that sounds really bad. <laughs> blue movies. Blue movies. <laughs> wow, no one says that now. He said that now. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? You're, you're the Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> Movies, <laughs> yeah, but Avatar, Avatar's out. Avatar's <laughs> fucking out. Yeah, you know what you're talking about. It's only two blue movies. It's just Avatar. generation. It's just blue. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They got some weird fetish. <laughs> wow. Oh, but yeah, um, so yeah, cinema, cinema. But you know, as we're watching all these films, you know, <laughs> as you listeners know, our love for Star Wars and sci-fi and all those movie greats but um you know we also loved our cartoons as you guys know there wasn't many films that came out of cartoons um apart from masters of the universe i was gonna say masters of the universe which yeah. killed which Terrible. killed our expectations it, it, it just killed it. It, it it definitely did but you know yeah. you know of but, course we had the hulk and and this person and that person but mm. they were already comic books and it yeah. wasn't like you watched a cartoon purely and thought they should that should be a film. Yeah. But you had that. You you had you had your bunch of cartoons that you wished you were like, oh, I wish they would make this into exactly. a movie. And like you say, He Man was one of the first. Mm. And and yeah. it, 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 it weren't great, man. And yeah. since then they've been carrying on. You know, we've since then we've had G.I. Joe, Smurfs, Transformers, Ninja Turtles, Inspector yeah. Gadget, and soon yeah. to come out this year, Tom and Jerry, which at the moment, all of them ones I mentioned, none of them are that good. 
No, the yeah, right that's bit, bad. They're all a bit weak. Isn't it? Yeah, the most Inspector Gadget. One. Terrible. Yeah. The it's most terrible. most disappointing one yeah. was Dungeons and Dragons, purely for the fact that I didn't realise that it was the game. It was the, the game. Cartoon. Yeah. Was, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, they have another the board game. That, yeah, that's, that's always that's been in my. Yeah, you, that's you, always you, been in my group of I wish they would make a Dungeons yeah. and Dragons, which we know yeah. they're gonna at some point. They, yeah, at some point it's gotta happen. After but... seeing that car advert a couple of years back, it's yeah. like that's what we exactly. want. That's the Dungeons exactly. and Dragons yeah. you need. Exactly. Oh, it could be done. That's the one we want, man. <laughs> but but you know, it weren't it weren't the same as I said, watching Master Universe. And no. Spectre Gadget came out in the 90s and yeah, that was that's just terrible. Terrible. Yeah. all over the place. That's what I mean, they've been doing it since yeah. the 80s. They've been trying. They've been trying yeah, to turn these cartoons to, into films and, you know, and there ain't many that actually... Just, just... One of the Ninja Turtles films looks all right. I think it's one of the newer ones. Like They're starting yeah. to make it look good, but, yeah, I'm, but I'm not but, a fan but, of it. It's not like the In cartoon. the 90s, when it when that when yeah, that one came no. out, that was, that was horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. I want to see Tom and Jerry, man. I want to see how they're going to do this. Like... The live what? action with the with I the Tom like and I'm Jerry be is disappointed though. Yeah, I, I think I'm I not, am as well. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of them I'm ones not, you should I'm have interested. I'm not interested. I, I just because... want to see how they're doing it, man. Smurfs kind of worked. I like how how they yeah, did yeah, Smurfs. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 Smurfs works because Smurfs didn't chop each other up and throw mm. irons on people's heads and stuff That's like true. that. And, and, yeah. and like and so Smurfs can do anything and, yeah, and it will still yeah. work now. True. But the you have to keep bit ain't yeah, there you, to... yeah you, you have to keep that in Tom and Jerry. And I, yeah, and like, you have to. Like yeah. cartoons of, of them now are, are rubbish. I don't they like them. Absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, they're absolutely the drawing, the everything. I've got Tom's no talking. interest at all. Why are they talking? Yeah, I got no yeah. interest at all. I don't care what they do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what Tom and Jerry do? I'm not watching it. If Quentin Tarantino directs it, I'll probably watch it. But yeah. apart from that, I'm not gonna not yeah, watch probably get, watch probably it. get the gory it. bits right, wouldn't they? Yeah. So I'm not interested. But I heard they're bringing out a mask film. Masks um, in in the it meant to be in the making. I heard as well. Yeah. So, you know, like like we were saying, along with Dungeons and Dragons, like that. And yeah. back in the '80s, they were the films we had. You know, Centurions and Mask. Mm. They were the like we wanted to see live like action versions Centurions of it. Version. Yeah. Centurions, you wanted to see it like how you saw the A Team or Night Rider, yeah. you know, a weekly yeah. episode. Yeah. Of Centurions, Centurions was, was one of the greatest wicked. cartoons. And I thought yeah. when I saw how they made Iron Man. I thought, come yeah, on, man. You can do power Centurions, extreme, man. man. Power extreme. This is it. You, you, could, you, that's, you could do some, Come on, man. Do do you know what I mean? Like, just just get on with it. <laughs> get on with making a Centurions movie, Dungeons and Dragons movie. You know, Tom Selleck back in it with moustache. Yeah, he's, like, he's, <laughs> he's too old now. That that was that was our thought back then. The Tom Selleck yeah, that was used to be that. Tom Selleck being yeah. yeah, that that was that. <laughs> Steve Gutenberg. Yeah. <laughs> That was the just used the, use the three men and a lady cast. We use them three dudes. Dress them up as a nah, you, you know, I thought about this proper. <laughs> no, 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 he thought about it. I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Hey, it's better than having Dolph Lundgren as He-Man, man. man. Come on, true. I could do a better cast yeah. than that. Mate, so now, since you're, if I want, if there's any cartoon film that from the eighties that will come out now for me, it would have to be Centurion. Yeah, uh, I've got a few. So I'd like, I'd like a Thundercats as well. They, oh, they can do yeah. that. They can do that mix of CGI and act, oh, actor. Yeah, yeah. Thundercats you know, only works they, with they the CGI. It would be look strange, man. people. We, that that cats film flop. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you humans can't make it look looking like, like cats, cats ain't working. Yeah, like no, it has to be a CGI have... film. It can't be actors yeah. third up. You can't have <laughs> Jennifer Hudson or whatever walking around dressed like as a cat. No, that, no, yeah, no, no. Didn't work. Yeah, it has to be CGI. Yeah. So yeah, mix it like how they done three hundred. You know that sort of CGI actor. Yeah. That sort of style, but they no, I'm saying, no, I'm just saying CGI all the way. I don't know. Just CGI, like, full just, CGI. Just, yeah, yeah, just full CGI, man. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, you know, it's, it's Thundercats, man. So, it's so like, cat people ain't doing it for you, do? You? Cat, no, nah, people Not fair enough. Ain't, ain't right. <laughs> it ain't right for a film, man. Nah. Just let cat be cat, like, <laughs> you know. Come on, man. You see, like they've done Jungle Book and all the tiger. Just let them yeah, do that. Them true. kind yeah, of things, true. like that. True. Yeah. You know, yeah, make they, it like, yeah. just, are they done Jungle Book and that? It wouldn't be too uh, bad. I, I think there is a way of using human actors with a bit of CGI for me, I think. 
Uh, yeah, so th- Thundercats would be up there as well. I wouldn't mind seeing a Wacky Races as well, man, like a live action version, like Cannonball Run, but that'd just be a Wacky that, that, Races version. That's what it is. That's what Cannonball Run is. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that that, that's, run it's already been done. It's, yeah, it's already been done. It's kind of. <laughs> Kind of run sorts that out. It's got comedy. It's got funny cars. It's got, it's got a monkey. Race. That is wacky races. You hit it on the head right there. That's adult true. wacky races. Adult the kids wacky watch wacky races. Adults watch Cannonball Run. That's how it went in the eighties. I'd right. like a road runner where Coyote gets him at the end as well. Like a like a a live a live version. Yeah. And I think I think Battle of the Planets could work as well Battle as a Planets as a space yeah space yeah. sort of show. Yeah. Battle of the Planets yeah. would be good. Yeah, Battle of Planets would, would really work that out. You know, and, and they, you know, seeing things like Power Rangers and stuff. Yeah, you know, yeah. They, they didn't work almost, for me. That's so, nah, yeah. but that is so close to... That is so sort close, of but, how but, Battle, but, Battle of but, Planets could look, would look. Yeah, but it's so corny. Yeah. The yeah. way it's done and the, and, 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 yeah. and the creatures, it's so corny. It's more like Starfleet. It, it's the Japanese market. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised it caught on in Europe and America as much as it has done. It didn't work for me at all. But no, yeah, Battle of Planets, Centurions, would be great, man. So Thundercats, maybe fun- Danger Mouse. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to see no animals animated. I don't want to see no animals. <laughs> I don't know where you go with these animal films. You want to see Tom and Jerry, <laughs> Road Runner, Danger Mouse, Dog Tanya. There's, there's a, one for you. Dog Tanya, yeah, real, real life dog. Nah, so Mask Centurions, Battle of the Planets, Thundercats. They would Dungeons still be good Dragons. if they would come out. Dungeons and Dragons. And Dungeons and yeah. Dragons, yeah. They would be yeah. still good if they come out now as live action movies. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. Still waiting. Still waiting, still waiting. But even staying for, even on. Even for a man. Still waiting. Still waiting. But, but that's coming out soon, isn't that's it? That's meant like, to be coming. Yeah. Yeah, a, a, a animation and a live action, isn't it? So. I heard that, yeah. I heard that. Okay. Reach. See what happens, man. See what happens. Interesting. Yeah. But, um, you know, staying with films, and we used to think about Oh, we used to watch films based on the future. Like I said, in you know, past podcasts like Space 1999, that looks so far-fetched, women mm. turning into animals and stuff. You know, and then you had like Escape from New York. Remember that like, Kurt Russell? Yeah. And it was New York in 2000 or something. Mm. Something crazy. And it was all like mashed up and stuff. And, and, and um, Earth always looks like that in the future. It's either mm. beautiful and shiny yeah. or it's yeah. apocalyptic. It's one of the yeah. two. Terminator, it's one of the two, you know? Um, so, and these films, like, these films, did, did you think that the future would look like that? Did you think this this could be real? Because so many films in the 80s showed a uh, 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 apocalyptic side and a mm. shiny side. And did you ever think it would be either of the two? I thought it would probably think... be the shiny side, but- I was know. thinking more the other side. <laughs> 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 well, it's got to be shiny before it becomes apocalyptic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you had like like the Mad Max. Well, that's like where, yeah. where we're, around, we're, around, we're around now. You know, that's just <laughs> sandy, buggies, leather. Not yet. Uh, boomerang. I'll give it a little while. I reckon we won't be far off. Yeah. No, I mean the give date. Give another six the months. Date. Oh, right. The date is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give it um, another six months to lock down and you might well see that. And, and that's all mad. Yeah, everyone wear leather too, you know. When it, when it gets hot, watch it, everyone wear leather and fingerless leather gloves and studs, man. Uh, that's one of the things in Mad Max, you know, the budget was so low, they could only afford to buy one leather outfit. So they had one leather out. All the rest were like vinyl, like really thin, oh, really? shitty oh, vinyl, like bin liners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they had this one outfit. So any of the road rash scenes where he's going to come off a bike or come off a car, they give him the leather outfit, but then they had to go back, be packed away again, go back Damn. to using the vinyl outfit. But that's how how low the budget was for that film, which is is a wicked film. Wow, wow, you think that was wow. 79, 80, and like you say, that's set. Yeah. That's meant to be set now, isn't it? or, even, or before 2000, yeah. or around 2000 or something? It's around now, it's around now. So, I, I yeah. did sort of think, you know, it could go that way, because, you know, we had we had a couple of wars growing up, and seeing some stuff on the, on the, on the news, they showed you, like, some other countries that kind of looked like yeah. some Mad Max. I was thinking, man, yeah. yeah. It's going to be long to England's like this. What's yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting starts up in over yeah. it. But, Except but, for the but, fact but, we ain't got any sand. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. We ain't got no deserts and outback. <laughs> and and um, we're just gonna have flaring heat. Yeah. And it yeah. just be everywhere. And it happening. Driving so, around monster trucks through the <laughs> bloody countryside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buggies, you know. Yeah. <laughs> over the Yorkshire Moors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like that when... When they made Back to the Future 2, which we mentioned last time, which was, what, 1989, they 
they they set it in 2015, didn't they? Where he was going mm. forward to the future to 2015. Yeah. So they did employ a few scientists and techie people back in the, the late 80s to try and work out what, what actually would be about so they can mm. try and guess some things right in, yeah. in 2015. And and like some things like flying cars, you know, even they knew that ain't going to be happening, but mm. yeah. you can't have a future thing without a flying car or hoverboards and stuff. But yeah. it did actually, looking through Back to the Future 2, there was a, quite a lot that they did predict, like just the use of cameras. There was cameras all over it. They predicted that everyone would be on a camera wherever you go, which we are. Right. Flat, flat screen LCD TVs were used uh-huh. in it. Mm. We never heard of them back in them days, but mm. yeah. Gen- yeah. general thing now, isn't it? And they were all mounted yeah. on the walls around the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like the Jetsons, in areas. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they did, they did, you know, smart home tech stuff. There was there's bits where they're talking to like lights on and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been yeah. about a while now, isn't it? And yeah, hands free video do you know gaming that's got that in their yard, though. Yeah, like, it's been around for a while. How many people do you know yeah. that's got lights on, lights off kind of thing in their drive? Not many. No, no it's becoming any, more now. I, now with <laughs> I, 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 I can do with Alexa, I can do TV. Mm. That's all she's linked to at the moment, TV and stuff. But if I had the light bulb that linked to Alexa, then yeah, it works. Okay, it yeah. works that way. But you just got to get the, yeah. is it Philips? Plug for Philips. I love yeah, some the bulbs. Philips bulbs. Yeah. yeah. Actually quite yeah, cool, I have to say. They look quite good, yeah. All mine getting some eventually when I've got like, what, they've got 20 quid a bulb or something, though. <laughs> you want to hope no yeah. bulbs last forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. So, That's another so, thing I was reading yeah, as well. Yeah. There's technology now. I was reading this a couple of days ago. There's technology now using dime, micro diamond technology in batteries, they can make batteries last a thousand years, but they don't want to release these because no one will buy batteries anymore. Thousand year oh, lifetime. Wow. You'll You're be not handing it down in your you will, it innit? You'll Here you go, son. Don't ever lose this. This has been Dad gave old, me these batteries. <laughs> The 400 year old batteries. It's all loads of life in it. <laughs> Just rub it together a little bit. <laughs> Stick it on the radiator off. It'll be all right. Put me in the freezer. It'll be fine. <laughs> if they don't work inside the remote, turn them round. Thousand years, man. A thousand year life for a battery. What? <laughs> I hate buying batteries, man. That's crazy. You just buy wow. one for everything. Where are those, those batteries we bought four years ago? Well, <laughs> wow, that's big. You know, funny you say that though, because you know um, the story behind the light bulb. Um, Philips or Pi, I think at the time, um, were um, manufacturing light bulbs, and other companies started to manufacture light bulbs. And what happened is, Pi's light bulbs were the worst, and they were lasting the least amount of time. But because mm. I think they had some kind of patent, they were able to charge the other firms. Um, however many minutes over, is it minute, however, how many hours, it was a thousand hours was Pi's light bulb lasted. Mm. And however many hours your bulb went over that, you would be fined a certain amount. So everyone started to conform to making light bulbs only last for a thousand hours. Oh. <laughs> but wow. the technology to have a light bulb last mm. for there. almost ever is there, yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's called controlled obsolescence, isn't it? Or something like that. Yeah. 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 So because right, if you bought a light bulb that lasted, you wouldn't have to buy another you one. Company that exactly. Again. No, 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 that's it. Same. Job, man. Shut. Okay, we're finished now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Job, <laughs> Everyone got a light bulb. Yeah. Right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Drones is another thing they showed quite a bit in Back to the Future as well. Like, yeah, they use drones for dog walking. I remember there. Yeah, that's right. Scene. And that that is that is available now. There is oh. drones that can walk your dogs. I say drones are used pretty much for everything these days yeah. for movies, yeah. photography, and and whatnot. But there is drone walking dogs. The uh, drone, yeah, dog, drone dog walking, walking dogs. dogs. <laughs> yeah. It's the drones, dog, man. Drones. That's that's something oh, to oh, think oh, about. Oh, drone look at walking that, look dogs. That. <laughs> There's dogs just walking past you in the air. Oh, oh, <laughs> Not by your ankles now. I'm trying to get your ears now. Fuck it hell. <laughs> shitting on your head in the air. Remember the dog shitting oh, on your head? <laughs> Fucking hell. That would be fucked up, wouldn't it? <laughs> Drone walking dogs, man. I want to see that. <laughs> now that's the future. <laughs> <laughs> get shit on. Oh, shit. But yeah, every, every type of film we watched when we were young had their own interpretation, as we were saying, either the shiny or the apocalyptic. So we also had um, Demolition Man. And that was mm. like uh, uh, 
a weird outlook. Um, that came out in the 90s. Nin and that 93, was very, yeah. yeah, and that was kind of, it was like an exaggeration of what kind of like, kind of like what things are like now. Mm. Like the whole censorship of, mm -hmm. of, 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 of swearing and you get fined. Again, cameras like again, everything's on cameras. Cameras, yeah. cameras are following the big brothers watching. Virtual, the virtual sex and all that. And, you know, it, it, it was- A lot of these films aren't really films, you know, they're more like documentaries. <laughs> they're getting that way. Yeah. Getting that <laughs> way. A lot of the films are telling you certain things. It's whether yeah, they're, they're all telling you certain things. But I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of Demolition Man. Nah, no. I'm that's Stallone in it. And you know I don't like Stallone. Again, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was two good actors in a, in a comedy film, which, you know. But it come, again, it come out too late for me. You know, as I said mm. before in past podcast, films in the 90s had to be boom. That's for me to watch. Action but really back good. in the 80s, you, you, you take a gamble. Like, you know, you go video shop, you choose three. Oh, let me just choose that one. The cover looks good. There's a good story yeah. in the back. Yeah. I'll choose it. But back in the 90s, it was a game of risk because because films were weak <laughs> in, in, in the 90s. So I was very picky. Yeah. And, I, I, you know, and I got to a level where I could sniff a, a cack film for a mile. <laughs> and and, and Demolition, Man, in, yeah. Demolition Man was that. Because, yeah. because for me, for me, they were... For me, I know Stax don't like Stallone, but for me, I, I like both those actors. Yeah, but to so see them in this point. type of film, yeah. I thought, because I don't know if he'd done Judge Dredd before or after, but it was in that zone. Mm. And it was like, it was Stallone, you ain't you yeah. ain't doing nothing. You've done Stop on yeah. My Mum Will Shoot, which was weak. Yeah. Every other Rocky after four was weak. And mm. it, in the 90s, he wasn't making great films. So I said, this is another, this is another. This is a <laughs> one, man. But, but, <laughs> but yeah, that, Demolition Man had had their own ideas. You know, as we said before, Blade Runner had their own ideas where it's this bright lights and rainy mm. weather. Maybe that's London. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> and, you know, you also had Total Recall. Oh, we can now, take film, mate. Total Recall, that that's, push it. Yeah, that pushes that's... it because now you're traveling to Mars. To mm. Mars you know. for holiday. Mm. You, yeah. you go on holiday to Mars. Or you can sit in an office in their building and go to yeah, Mars and go to Mars yeah. and be anyone you want and, it, and so it's the same that experience a, that probably is available now with virtual reality you literally can yeah. sit somewhere and imagine you're somewhere else and you're, yeah, you know true. your brain really believes you are there because it, it feels yeah. real almost mm. yeah so I suppose um, we are really you know without actually going to Mars we're, we're at that stage get your well, ass to that, Mars yeah, that is just going to be the next yeah. stage, and with That's Elon a, Musk on it, yeah. I don't think we're too far off of getting to these these places soon, man. But in the next you few know, years. To Total Recall was just there in like like the like the whole scanning through airports. Like that's yeah. something I saw, when I saw that I thought, yeah, I would yeah. like that to be in the future. Yeah, I, yeah, that, that's a good security. That, yeah. that whole security, security that, system, yeah. you can see you know, straight through to the skeleton. A, yeah, that was a feature, yeah, yeah. and and that's about now. That that's yeah. it now. You know. Um, <laughs> But that was a feature, like they showed it on trailers, so you watch the film, like look at this, yeah. like type of thing, you know. Um, I don't know about the whole two weeks disguise move. Um, nah. <laughs> nah. But but a lot of it was, you know, it was it was interesting. Did you ever want? Did you ever look at that girl with the three boobs and go, you know what? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like her in the future. <laughs> If I had three hands, I might, but with two hands, well, it was like, no, that's too much, man. Too much mate, for me. Two hands and a mouth. Exactly. It's two <laughs> hands in the head, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's too... right. You ain't going to sit right. It's not, no, I don't know. Uh, no, I, bet it it <laughs> yeah. I bet it will. I bet it will sit yeah. just right. Yeah, <laughs> three mate, things on. mate, she was convenient. She was convenient. <laughs> I was fuming. I was fuming when he shot her in the back. I, I hated him more. When he shot her in the back, I was fuming with him. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Could have got her up in a Johnny Cab or whatever it was. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, yeah, Total Recall, no. You know. He had the Running like, Man as well around. The Running, running Man. Bit, yeah. It was a bit before, wasn't it? A bit before the running, Total Recall, And, and, and the Running Man is one of those Schwarzenegger films that if you was on Family Fortunes or show and they said, name... <laughs> <laughs> Three oh, Schwarzenegger movies. You're never saying running, man. Never, mm. But it was good, man. It's a big movie. It, yeah. it yeah. was a big yeah. when it came out, yeah. It's it's a, and, and, and this is at like the height of Schwarzenegger making blockbusters. And this doesn't mm. seem blockbuster. It seems like a low budget film. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But it works. It, it, it's, a, it's a Stephen King novel, running, man. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. And directed by Paul did Michael we, Glazer of, of shocked at Asking that one. Hutch. Yeah, I knew that all along, and, and, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 
So Running Man, you know, that concept, it's like- It's a good film, man. That was in 1987, right? 87, yeah. 87, right? And that concept is, you know, people on television, you know, going through dangerous would it, would, escapades. Would they they, they mm. were people- Like gladiators. Them. It's like gladiators when they, when they convicts death. though. Or, or, yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, 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 or convicts, innit? Who, who are done yeah. something bad. They get put through this game show yeah. Where you bet on are they going to survive this round be, to, or to, to be to be voted by the public, the you know to say who gets through this next round, who they should fight next, who they should and, fight, and, yeah, buzz and, saw and, and, and what yeah, should happen to them. Yeah. And so through that, you're watching that film, thinking this is a crazy concept. Like the public can vote and choose who should fight, who should go next, who should be the next contestant. And now we live in a world where that's yeah. standard. Yeah, that's standard television. That's standard TV but, now. Isn't but, it? Yeah. but to think of it as a as an idea for a film concept, you know, and to live it now, it's just nuts. It's exactly. You know what I mean? Because, because <laughs> subliminally, it's the same thing. You know, that yeah. was a film, so you had to fight to the death, but there's people fighting to the death in reality after coming out of these shows. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, but their careers, their Ain't lifestyles, their, yeah. you know, some people haven't come out good being on this reality it's thing. True. So it's so, it's very true. It's, you know, it's so comparable with that film, man. It's like, very, very true. That's, a, that's one film that was telling you the future. Like, yeah. 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 people, the public will be betting who gets what. Like, and it's in every type of film <laughs> yeah. program, yeah. from a baking program to, yeah. to eating kangaroo balls to, to, to being a big brother. <laughs> to, 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 you're all being judged. You're all being voted by the public. You're all engaging. And that never happened on TV, you know. and and. You know, as I say, that is not a film that you relate to Arnold Schwarzenegger. Even though it's Arnold you don't, you don't, Running Man ain't coming out of your mouth. You know, the um, same with Raw Deal, but, mm. but yeah, yeah Running Man. you do forget. Running Man <laughs> was, was a, bad. That was all right, you know, what's that again? Raw Deal was all right. Is that the but, um, Russian, what's one is Ru in Russia? Yeah. Right? Russian dude. But yeah, I enjoyed Running Man. Um, yeah, me too. Yeah, Running Man was good. I like that one. You know, more than, more than Demolition Man. Mm -hmm. um, but the most interesting one, you know, is probably Planet of the Apes. That is um, a good one, yeah. <laughs> because... And you think that's back course, in the 70s? Yeah. Again. But, you know, of course we didn't think the world would be run by apes in the future. But the concept must have always crossed your mind when you little thinking, what if? Yeah, <laughs> that's fucked up how they treat these, these if apes. If started off like that, you know... What you if? Know, it, you know, we, we we die out and it starts again. So I, you know, I think it is possible. You would get you a few less. You think it's possible that apes will start talking and controlling us? <laughs> could be, man. It could be. <laughs> it must have asked how we started, didn't it? Have you come from started. the future or something? Have you? <laughs> 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 you got to stop taking those pills, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it could be, man. Oh, I, I did after watching that. I thought, you know, that could go around because you watch it and you think, man, this is like another planet or another world, and you realise, no, this is. After life, after life on yeah. Earth has has gone, yeah. this is what happens, and yeah, we could do that, man. What do you reckon, Stax? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Simply, uh, I mean, I like yeah. it's a good film, but it's yeah, I can't see that happening in real life. That's, yeah, I can't, I can't see. Unless that. it's another dimension of some sort. Give it another million years, you watch. Uh, we'll be back eight, there again. Right, in in another million years, we'll do another podcast. <laughs> and we'll yeah. go, hey, you eight, were right, Chris. Apes we did it. Yeah. They've allowed us, they've, they've freed us from our cage to do this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the old ape podcast. So, yeah, as old yeah. apes, we were talking about humans. You think they'll wow. never be able to talk? <laughs> wow, wow. That's crazy. Damn. Yeah, so yeah, so many different interpretations of, of what the future will look like in film. Um, and yeah, and as I said before, my favorite one probably is, I don't know, they were all they, probably back to the future because it wasn't that gloomy. Yeah, it was yeah. just, you know, yeah. you know, you want to be safe. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, once you saw a hoverboard and those Nikes, you were like, yeah, I want to go to the future. Yeah, I, I didn't. I can't wait yeah. till 2015. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> five years ago six years ago yeah man so yeah different interpretations man of 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 what movies showed us the future looked like we, we could go on you know it's movies fault man it's movies mm. fault that we we think like this about the future yeah yeah well you think about the future you think we're all going to be apes <laughs> <laughs> so you think about the future 
Um, you know, we can go Star Trek. You know, you know, there's, there's so many angles and ways and movies um, that you know try to show us a kind of vision, um, and that's why we've gone back to the future, eighties dreams. Um, but we'll be coming back with more episodes of this saga. Does that makes sense. Subject. This subject. Of this subject. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go, yeah. A bit more we'll be getting to go. a couple more things we used to think about, the things we didn't imagine was going to be around, and now voila, they're just in your face. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, thanks for listening, guys. Hope you're staying safe. I'm Daz. I'm Chris. And I'm Stax. And we'll be back soon. It's the movement. Peace. Peace.